They went door to door trying to count everyone in last year's census, but it is clear Detroit's numbers don't add up. A new look at the 2020 census is showing some troubling new findings. Potentially millions of black Americans may have gone uncounted. Our Grant Herms took a look at those numbers today, and Grant, we know that this really could have a... Right. It really could have a huge impact and these are just early numbers, but they are, as you said, troubling anywhere from three to 7% of black Americans may not have been counted in the 2020 census here in Detroit. That works out to about 17,000 to 38,000 people. It also means major problems for things like food stamps, homeless programs, schools, almost every part of life in most often underserved communities. New studies looking into the U.S. Census revealing startling new findings, potentially a massive undercount of black Americans to the tune of 2 million people. In Detroit, where the black population makes up close to 80% of the entire city, that means saying potentially tens of thousands of Detroiters don't exist when they do. I'm very concerned. I was concerned while it was going on. Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence says she had her worries about the census before these new numbers. Inherent hurdles to getting a good count mixed with funding cuts, changes to the process, and then a count that was stopped early, all coming to a head at the same time. It was a perfect storm. So you had COVID. You have this inherent generational resentment to government knocking on your door asking you questions. Then you add to that the digital divide will go online and fill it out. And if not, we'll come knock on your door. Well, guess what? COVID happened. The Census Bureau is starting what's called a post enumeration survey, essentially trying to figure out what went right or wrong with the census. That was supposed to have started late this month, but won't start until November, meaning it won't be done until February. In the meantime, money to help Detroiters will need to be allocated and spent, all the while knowing thousands may not be getting what they need. We as a country have come together and said we're going to take care of the least of these. If we don't count and have the right number, we're not going to do that effectively. Now, undercounts aren't new in the census. We know that communities of color, low income communities, homeless and the children in our communities are often missed in our count every 10 years. But experts are saying this time around, it could be the worst undercount that we've seen, Sandra, in 70 years. Years. Yeah, and Grant, at this point, what can be done about this, if anything? Unfortunately, not much can be done at all. Once the numbers are counted and the census is out, the numbers that we have are the numbers that we have. But there are pushes to challenge the census data. The city of Detroit and Mayor Duggan is already doing that. They've got their own study to analyze the numbers from the Census Bureau working right now with the University of Michigan. And Congresswoman Lawrence is also urging that we change the process for the 2030 census now so we get ahead of these problems in 10 years. Yeah. Back to you. Still lots to sort out. All right. Thank you, Grant.